hello everyone uh, welcome to my channel rpa and automation training and my name is mohammad afsaradi today uh, we'll be discuss about e git plugin integration with github uh, basically we'll uh, integrate with a selenium uh, project into github okay so in this tutorial we'll be uh, discussing more about e git plugin installation eclipse part after that how to integrate and download this plugin in your eclipse ide okay let's see uh, how to download a uh, eclipse i eclipse plugin into your uh, eclipse ide okay so first of all uh, we need to have a eclipse ide um, in eclipse ide version uh, Neon version, uh, you don't have to install it because it's already installed, uh, integrated with uh, Eclipse Neon. If it is a lesser version, uh, if it is a 3.8 version or something 4.4 uh, also, then you need to install it explicitly uh, from uh, that Eclipse marketplace. Okay, so uh, I'm using uh, Eclipse version. Uh, Neon, so I don't have to install it. Let's see how to install it with the uh, other version if you do not have already installed. Uh, first, you need to check whether you have already installed it with, within your Eclipse machine or not. Okay, so how to check it? Just go to your file, then go to new, then click on others. Okay, here you need to type egit i'm sorry not egit uh, you need to write uh, just go to the general okay git you know, git repository okay so if you find uh, this git is already present uh, within your new uh, select wizard then uh, you are uh, you, you can confirm that uh, egit plugin is already installed in your eclipse ide so you don't have to install it okay if you do not find it uh, within this uh, category then you need to install it explicitly uh, there are two things uh, two ways to install it okay uh, the first uh, go to your help then you will find one thing called install new software over here okay then another one is eclipse marketplace so there are two ways you can install a egit plugin for your eclipse id okay let's see how to install it with uh, using install new software uh, plugin okay so when you click on that you will get this uh, window install window okay from here you need to click on add button now it's saying add repository you need to give some name over here okay and you need to uh, enter some uh, urls or the link uh, where this uh, eclipse egit plugin is already available uh, in eclipse repository okay you need to provide that repository link so i have uh, this link so uh, in this link www.eclipse.org slash egit slash download from here you can get the um, link of that egit plugin okay just let me quickly copy this and just need to go to that browser let's see whether we can find out that path or not here you will get something called main update site egit can be installed in the following ways okay you need to copy this one recommended one http download.eclipse.org slash egit slash updates okay just copy this let me just copy it same thing i have copied over here okay uh, i'll be uh, sharing these links in uh, the video description so don't worry about it you need to 
provide this name as egit then you need to provide this location you can provide that a link that we copied it from the google uh, the eclipse site okay just then just click on okay here you can uh, find three plugins available you need to install first one git integration for eclipse okay click on that then click on the next button okay it will take some time and you need to install and you need to uh, go till the end so that okay in uh, you need to then select this uh, git integration for eclipse now next okay you need to click on accept the terms of the license agreement okay now click on finish and that egate plugin will be uh, downloaded in your eclipse repository then it will ask you to restart your eclipse id okay let's wait while it's being installed i might get some issue because i have already installed eclipse uh, egit plugin within my eclipse ide so let's see but in your case if it is not already installed so you won't get any problem okay now download is completed and it will uh, prompt you to uh, it will ask you you will need to restart eclipse for the change to take effect would you like to restart now you just click on okay and the eclipse will be restarted let's wait Okay, here my Eclipse Neon uh, is uh, I have already using this one Neon version and I would recommend you also uh, use some latest version of Eclipse IDE. Okay. Okay, now go to the workbench. Okay, similarly, uh, go to the new. In your case, it should be present. This git, git should be present over here. Okay. Once you find it, then it's uh, you are all set with egit plugin. Okay, and another way that uh, you can install eGit plugin in your Eclipse, if you find you you have the Eclipse Marketplace, then it, it is very easy. You don't have to uh, you know copy and paste that link from uh, Eclipse site from here. Okay, you you can have it from go to Help menu, then go to Eclipse Marketplace. In some Eclipse, uh, this marketplace is not present. If it is present uh, in your Eclipse ID, just go to that Eclipse marketplace and then search for eGit plugin. Enter and search. And it will show you the result. eGit, Git integration for Eclipse 4.6. Okay. Here, I have already installed it. You can see. The button is saying it's installed already this Eclipse plugin, EGIT plugin. Okay, so I don't have to install it. In your case, it should be like this, and you need to install. Uh, click on this install button, and it should uh, install it in your machine. Correct? Okay, then fine. Uh, we'll uh, discuss more about um, uh, EGIT uh, plugin. I mean, uh, 
all the components present within eGit plugin where to find uh, all this repository okay so we'll discuss in the next video okay thank you thank you very much